Greetings, fellow artists, and welcome to another episode of You Saw It, Now Draw It. I'm Scott Gabala Broxholm, and I'm a children's illustrator, author, and caricaturist. And today, I'm going to show you how to draw a monarch butterfly. So grab the pencils and erasers and paper, and we'll start right in. A few facts before we get going about butterflies. As you probably know, they start out as a caterpillar and attach themselves to a twig or a leaf, and then they form a crystallis, a cocoon, which they emerge from uh, a number of days later as a butterfly. Um, the interesting thing about, there's six legs on this, although we can't see it because we're looking down onto the butterfly here. But the legs, the feet of a butterfly, is the way they actually taste. They actually taste with their feet. Um, the antenna up here is what they use for touch and smell. They can live anywhere from a week to as long as a year. And when they migrate, which monarch butterflies do, they can travel up to 2,000 miles, believe it or not quite a long distance to uh, Southern California and Central Mexico. And the defense they have against predators, um, creatures that might want to eat them, is that they really taste bad. It actually is, if a bird ate a butterfly, they could actually get sick. Okay, enough of that. Let's go right into the drawing. We're going to start with the shapes, and then we're going to add the details. So. Looking at this butterfly, as often is the case in many of the pictures that I've done with you already, we're going to start in the center again and then branch out. So, the shape we see, well, in a way, it's almost like a, what would I say, almost like a skinny sausage or maybe a, a little hot dog. But there are different bumps and things, but let's just start with the shape simple little sausage or hot dog. So right in the center of the paper here, what we're going to do, we're going to make it about this big, bring it down, we'll round it off at the top, bring it down like this. I'm measuring here with my fingers. So we'll draw that sausage shape, which I know really doesn't look a lot like this, but we'll get there. Well, we'll change the shape so it looks much more like it. Okay, you got your sausage right here. So what we're going to do is, on the top of this sausage here, what I see are the eyes here, right? What I'm seeing are two little upside down U's, aren't they? So what we're going to do on the top of this is, we're going to draw one on this side, on the left side, and we're going to draw another upside down U the other side like that. And they are pretty close together, but there's a little bit of space there. So what we're going to do in that space, what we're going to do is we're going to come up here and draw a little line that comes up like this from the top of that eye, and right over here another one that comes up just like that. I'm kind of curving in a little bit, aren't I? And This is what we're doing right in here. Then what we're going to do, we're going to come down a little bit, over, and back up again like that. Okay, that's this little part up, down a little bit, over, up, and down. All right. Now from that, what we're going to do, we might as well put this in now. Let's go to the part we just drew. Let's start at the right side. And what we're going to do is draw a diagonal line that comes up and stops about there. And if it's not perfectly straight, that's actually better because this is a little bit wiggly or wobbly, isn't it? Bring the other one up to about there and stop. And then right in the end, we're going to come around like a loop back again like that. Kind of looks like a little teardrop or a drop of rain going off to the side. I'm going to go around and back again till it touches like that. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to come down from those eyes a little bit. I do see this line could be a little pattern, I think, perhaps. 
I'm going to draw a very skinny, kind of looks like I've drawn a toothpick, doesn't it? So I come down like this and come back up like that. Then what we're going to do, after you get that toothpick shape in there, we're going to branch out a little bit like this, don't we? So from the eye on the left side, this part here, we're going to come out just a little bit and come back in like this. So it's, we're actually drawing a triangle shape, aren't we? And the same thing on the other side. We're going to just underneath that eye, right there. We're going to come out at a diagonal. This is what I'm doing is coming out here and go back in like this. Okay. Now I know this isn't a straight line here. We'll go back and fine tune that later on here with the details. Now the rest of this sausage hot dog shape, what we're going to do is we're going to come down here and we're actually going to come in a little bit. Do you see I made the line straight down? But we're going to come in just a little bit like this because it gets a little bit thinner before it comes down to the bottom. It does come around, but there's this little part here, the end of the tail, we're going to put a line straight down like this and one at a diagonal over to the right and just connect those like this. That's this little part right here. Okay, we will add a little bit of this detail later. And then we get to the fun part here, which is the wings. So right over here, we're gonna come back up here, the top of this triangle here. Right where the triangle touches to the bottom of the eye, right there, we're going to do is we're going to draw take your pencil and we're going to come up and we're going to go we're going to curve it so we're going to come way over like this and we're going to stop all right let's th this will make sense here we're going to stop right here for a moment we're going to come back again what we're going to do is we're going to go to the point of the triangle here which is right here and what we're going to do is we're going to draw a line coming straight out and we're going to stop about here so it's shorter than this line. So we came up and started to turn it over. We're going to stop. Came back here and put a straight line and brought it up just a little bit. But it is shorter, right? Because what we're going to do now is, of course, connect them. So let's go back up to this bigger line up here. We're going to bring it around just a little bit and come back till it touches that shorter line. All right, we're going to try and do the same type of thing over here. Now, if you do a second wing and it's a little bigger or shorter, don't worry about it, okay? We'll come to the bottom of the eye here. I'm going to draw a line that curves up and comes over like this. Turn it around a little bit. Come back to this point of the triangle on this side, just like we did the opposite. We're going to draw a straight line that comes out like this. We're going to stop. Well, let's curve it a little bit first before we stop. Go back up here, the top of the wing again. Bring it in just a little bit, and then bring it down till it touches. And actually, probably I could have brought this in a little bit more here from what I can see. So I'll just erase that. All right, now let's put these in. Now this shape to the bottom's wings, this is kind of interesting. And the best way I can describe this is if you've ever gone to the beach and picked up shells off of the beach, it's almost like the shape of a shell, isn't it? Even the lines look like they might be lines in a shell that you'd find on a beach. So thinking about that as a shell, draw the two bottom wings. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to come back to this wing. Let's start with the left one. We're going to come down this straight line, but not all the way to the end. We're going to stop, and right here, which is where we are here, we're going to bring it down. We're going to curve it around, and it has to go below this, so we're going to go a little bit lower than that. We're going to stop. 
So it's kind of like a big letter C almost, isn't it? Because when we get to this point, and you want to get closer, there's a little bit of space here, isn't there? We stop here and we bring it up till it touches the butterfly right about there. Okay. Which I believe is the thorax, the middle part here, I think, because the abdomen, the tummy area is right at the bottom here. Okay. Let's try to do the same thing on the other side. So we're going to come down the straight line. We're going to stop before we get to the end. We're going to curve it around. Bring it down so it comes a little bit below here. We're going to stop and then bring it till it touches up there. And again, if this one is a little bit bigger than this one, actually I think it is in my picture here, don't worry about it. That's fine. Okay, we're getting there, aren't we? But all this wonderful detail here. I always think of a butterfly's wings looking like a stained glass window. If you've ever seen those in a building, when the sunlight shines through it, it's just so brilliant. So let's start with this wing over here. What we're going to do is we're going to draw this shape right here. So what we're going to do, come in here, we're going to go just below this top line here. We're going to draw another line and come up about like this. We're going to stop, turn it around so we're going straight. We're going to stop again. We're going to bring it down like this. And then we're going to bring it over till it touches like that. All right, now what did I do here? All right, we brought up the diagonal line. We stopped. We made straight across. And we brought it down like this. Turned around. And we brought it straight across again. See if you can try to do the same thing on the other side because this is almost a mirror image, isn't it? So we do the same thing here. We'll come down a little bit. We'll come up about the same length as this. Turn it around. Come over. Stop. Bring it down. And then bring it back like this. Okay, once you've got both these smaller shapes in, let's go to the left one here again. What we're going to do is we're going to draw this line coming up like this. And what this does is we'll start right here, right between these two lines. We're going to bring it up. We're going to come out just a little bit and bring it right up to the top like that. Kind of looks like maybe a skinny leaf almost. So we're coming out a little bit and back up to touch it. Then we have these two lines here, don't we? So as best as you can, we have to divide this into one, two, three parts, don't we? So this bottom part here is the biggest one. So we're going to bring the line over like this. Then we come up about here. We'll draw the second one coming over like this. And then this third one, the shape is right up there like that. Okay. We'll round it off in, uh, in a little bit. Let's go back and do the same thing on this side. Right between these lines, we're going to come down a little bit and up till it touches. We're going to come down about here, just like over here. Bring the line down just a little bit till it touches there. And come up to about here. And bring the line over like that. Okay. We're getting there. All right. You see these three dashes over here? It looks like somebody took a paintbrush and just went dab, 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 right? What we're going to do is right up here, we're going to draw the first little dab of paint like this. Kind of looks like a jelly bean, doesn't it? And actually a second jelly bean that isn't touching. And we've got this one. This has a little brighter spot in it, but that's our smaller jelly bean, isn't it? Three little jelly beans. Do the same thing on the other side. This one up here is the longest jelly bean, isn't it? Then we're going to put a second one over here. And then the smaller one right here. Okay. Let's leave that for now. We'll fine tune this in a second. Let's do these down here. Okay. You might look at this and think, where in the world do we begin with this? Well, I think the easiest way is to do this shape first 
since all the other lines come off of it, doesn't it? So, what we're going to do is, on this part of the triangle, this side down here, take your pencil and what we're going to do is we're going to come out, we're going to come down like this, we're going to stop, we're going to come over with a short line, that's right there, then we're going to come back up again like that. So what did I just do? Okay, we're putting a diagonal line coming out, but we're bending it just a little bit till it comes over here. We're not going all the way to the end. We're going to put a short little line like this before we take the end of that line and come back up in like that. And I'm sure you already guessed it. We're going to do the same thing on the other side here. So let's start up here. We're going to draw the line coming down like this. Bend it like this, as that short little line, and we're going to come out like this and back in again like that. And again, don't worry about these being exactly the same. As you can tell, I made this a little wider and this was a little skinnier. Okay, from these shapes, let's start with this line up here. We're going to go up like this with this line. There's one, two, three, four before we get to this point. So, what we're going to do is, we're going to come down a little further on the shape, we're going to make another line that bends over like this, another one like this, and one more, four. So we've got one, two, three, four lines coming right down like that. That short line we drew before, there's the fifth line, then we have six, seven, and actually even an eight. So we have to go over here, one more, we're going to go all the way up here and bring that one down like this and then there's this very skinny one that comes right to the edge. So what did I just do? Alright, let's go back again. The first line comes over like this. Right? Second line comes down like this. Third line like this. Fourth one. Fifth one. Sixth one. Seventh one. And finally, this one here, the eighth, this one right here, okay? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, are you ready? Just one more time here. It gets easier after this. We gotta do the same thing on the other side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So, as close as you can, we're gonna start here and draw a short line coming up. We're gonna come down here a little further draw another one that curves over like this. Come down a little further still. This one comes over like this. There's that point right there. I'm going to bring another one like this. There's the fifth. There's the sixth. I'm going all the way up here so it's touching the bottom of the triangle. The seventh and finally this last one right in here, right there the eighth one that touches like that. Phew! I know, that was a lot. You might have to rewind this video a little bit and, and uh, take a look at this again, but the hardest part is done. Because what we can do is we can go back to these lines, like this for example here, what we're going to do is we're going to come around and round it off with a shape like this. See what I just did? I sort of connected it. I'm going to the end of this line and I'm rounding that off rounding this one, same thing here, this one here, this one here, and finally that. Okay, we're going to do the same thing on the other side. Right up at the top here, this one here, we're going to round off till it comes around, like this. Okay, then we're going to round this one off, this one, keep on going. Okay, and try, if you can, Notice I didn't round this right to the bottom here because we have to put all these little dots here, down here. So make sure that there's some room down there. Okay, I'm going to give you just a moment to catch up because that's going to take a bit of time to do. What we're going to do now is let's round these off because these look more like rectangles. So we're going to round those off like this. And when you do this, you can always go back in and erase a little bit 
so it doesn't look like a rectangle, right? Okay, do the same thing over here. And actually, what I may do is just erase that to start with so we can round that off. Okay. All right, we're almost there. I do notice that there's a couple little spots of color that we did not put in. So, right underneath in this top left wing here, underneath these three here, I'm going to put another line that comes in like this. This is the part right here that I'm drawing, right in there. Same thing on the other side coming up. Okay, that little part of color. And then this butterfly has the same thing over here. There's actually another shape that comes up, doesn't it? This part right in here. All right, let's finish this off. Let's go back and put a little bit of detail here. This part of the butterfly's body is kind of fuzzy. I don't know if you can see it there in the video, but there's some, looks like it's almost made of like a fur almost. So what we're gonna do, take your pencil and on this skinnier part, this middle part here, the thorax, we're gonna draw some lines. I'm gonna do this. What am I doing? taking my pencil, if you just take your pencil and wiggle it up and down and just keep going down like this, that's going to look like a little bit of fur on the outside. But don't go all the way to the bottom because what I'm seeing here are these little white dots. I'm just going to put some little lines here. They're tiny little dots. You could put little dots like this, I suppose, that go across like that. And then there is a little bit more of this triangle. If you go back in here, what I'm seeing is I see a bump that comes out to another bump before it comes back in. So what did I just do? Instead of the triangle looking like this, I made a bump and a little bump like that. Same thing on the other side. A bigger bump and a little one. Right. And then... Let's add a few of these dots. Now, in the interest of time, I'm not gonna put every single one of these in here, and you can do this if you'd like. What I'm just gonna do is indicate a little bit. Let's start up here first. You could count every single one of these, and that would be good, but what I'm gonna do is put a little wiggly. What I'm doing, instead of a circle, I'm wiggling a circle like this. All right, that looks a little more like them because they're not even circles, are they, or shapes. Some of them are littler, some of them are bigger. I could put one over here. There's another one here. Okay, so I'm just wiggling a few. I'll put a few more over here. You could go really crazy just putting more and more of these. And the same thing down here. Underneath here, it kind of actually looks, each one of these well, I guess it isn't true. There's just three here. That looks like there's four, four, and four underneath each one. So if I put two wiggly ones and two wiggly underneath that, like this, there's just three underneath this one. Well, I'll let you do that yourself here. There's actually a big shape over here. Put that here and a couple more little wiggly ones here. I'll stop for now with that. The only other thing you might want to do and you're welcome to do this is, do you see how this is kind of like a shell, isn't it? Because it's not perfectly round. So if you wanted to, you could take the time, see how it kind of goes in and out, in and out, in and out, in and out, in and out. You could do that if you wanted to for the final thing around the outside of the butterfly. Same thing here too, if you see that, there's these kind of little ragged lines almost coming down like that. Same thing on the other side. But there we go. Essentially, that's the drawing for the butterfly. And you can always go back and color this in yourself. Okay. In fact, here it almost looks as if it's a dark purple almost, which would be very pretty up against the, the orange color there. Final detail if you want to, to make this butterfly look as if it's flying, we can add a few wiggly lines underneath here, kind of over here on top of it to make it look as if it's fluttering its wings, right? Just with a few what we call speed lines. Well, how did you do? 
I'll bet you did a beautiful job on your butterfly. Well, keep up the great work, keep on sketching, and until next time, draw some awesome pictures.